One nifty new MixCraft 7 feature is its ability to edit multiple clips at the same time. This is useful for changing clip lengths, key signature, and clip speed. Here I've created a basic track with drums, bass, and piano, and I'm going to do some edits to the bass and piano tracks at the same time. First I'll select both the bass and piano clips by holding down the shift key and clicking in the top half of each clip. You can tell that they're both highlighted by the white outlines around them. Now I'll click the sound tab at the bottom of the screen, and you can see there's a bunch of parameters right here that we can edit. Over here is the name field, and currently it has a little dash in it because we've got two clips selected that have different names. If I click in here, I can type a new name, and you can see both clips get that name. Next to the name field is the lock parameter, and if I click that, these will say locked, and that prevents any edits from being performed to the clips in case we've done all our edits and we don't want anything to happen to them. You can easily unlock the clips by just clicking again right here. And next to the lock parameter is the mute parameter. And if I click that, they say muted, both of them turn gray. And this is the same as the mute parameter right here on the clip itself. But if we have both clips selected, we can use the button in here to mute and unmute both clips simultaneously. Over here are the clip playback speed controls. Selecting time stretch lets us vary the speed of a clip by a percentage, with 100% being normal speed. So if I play it back right now, this is normal speed. And if I set this to 50%, our bass and piano play at double speed. Or if I set it to 200%, you can see the clips are twice as long and they'll play at half speed. Over here I can set the transpose for the clips and making sure that we have this button pressed right here. I can adjust the transposition with the semitones control right here. And as you can hear, it transposes both clips simultaneously. The offset control lets you set the position of the clips on the timeline, but most of the time it's easier to just click and drag the clips in the timeline and move them, like this. But we can also set it here by typing, for example, 3, and it goes to 3 up here. You can also adjust the length of the clips right here. You can also set looping for clips right here. And in MixCraft, this is essentially a repeat function that lets you make identical copies of clips. For example, if I have these two highlighted, and I type 2 right here, you'll see that identical copies appear next to the original clips. You can also define which part of the clips get played and repeated with the loop start parameter and the loop end parameter right here.